I hear about Francis day two. Francis, I see you got your balls. Good job. All right, day two. Uh, the first guy's here. We're going to set the trail, and today we're also going to try to uh, flag the way in, make it a little bit easier. Not the berm area, the way down, but right across the forest, the way to the film site. So we're first team in, flag, carry the ball markers that Bill Mons wants us to use, and a couple other items, and it should be good. Uh, pretty excited. Yesterday was great. We got a lot of stuff done, a lot of trimming, of exposing roots and stuff. So um, all in all, it's going to be another good day on the, on the place. Quiet, first team in, should be good. Any last words? No. Oh, man of many words. All right, let's get going. That's it, good. Bear claws marking the tree here on this alder. I'm about this tall right here. This is my height. So I'm about five, seven, three quarter. So the bear is a little shorter, put his paws up. Scratch the tree, both sides. It's pretty neat. Good flagging, the man. All right, yeah. The Excellent folks. flagging. Thanks. Can't have enough flags, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's Thursday, July 26th, about noon, and we brought some stuff up. Now we're going to work on another project, and Mun's been working up here. and trying to figure out, I'll let Mun's explain it. What are we doing today? Okay, um, the team has set up the line of sight from the cue stick to stump, which continues right to the edge here. Now both Roger and John Green are on that line in terms of the camera position. The problem is it stops short of where they should be. What we are going to do now is to put another line tied off on that one where it ends, 100 foot line, and run it across the creek, tying it off somewhere so it continues in a straight line with that. Now we're going to tape a ball to the string or to the rope. It's far enough from that one, depending on that measurement, to go out to what is considered 280 feet, which is Roger's position if he has a 20 millimeter lens. Then we'll do one which is basically 350 feet away if he has a 25. And we'll have those marked, and that'll give us two possible references for where his camera position is depending upon the lens he has on his camera. And I suspect, looking at what we're seeing over there, that 350 feet away is going to put him literally right against the hillside, which would be a physical impossibility based on the way the whole event occurred for that to be where he was filming from. All right. Yeah, and this is my product placement. There it is. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot done so far. I'm just going to do a quick synopsis of what we got out in the field. Yeah. But yeah, it's, so. oh, what you guys done is amazing, really. I am frankly in awe of it. And were I here with just one or two guides, none of this would have happened. Yeah, the team was it's good having the team here. I mean, they worked so hard getting it all done. Mm -hmm. And looking forward to it. Yeah. So in that sense, uh, describing it as the historic Bluff Creek trip is not an exaggeration. It rises to that label. All right.
out here. So this this, this rope, uh, we, we pulled across 100 feet, and, and uh, we need 90 feet of this rope. So minus 10 is a point where Roger Patterson started filming. Exactly right. <laughs> so this is that's our tip foot right there. There it is. This is the spot where Roger Patterson started filming. Okay. What we have here is an actual marking now of Roger Patterson's path. The stones that we placed here is, in essence, plus or minus a few feet, this is where he actually started his camera for frame one. At this point, he was shooting at a slight angle this away, not on a line of sight with the way he was walking. So he was walking forward, and he actually started the camera while he was moving. It wasn't start the camera, then step. It was walking, so he probably started here as he was getting the camera out, and while he was moving, he started the camera while in motion. So he's in motion following his path. But he's not shooting straight at what he's walking at. He's actually shooting slightly over this way, in general. And then occasionally he swings the camera this way, and there we see a root mass, some trees projecting out, and we see the stream coming this way right here. So the stream had a little tighter bend coming around the corner and coming this way. But the creek bed is running right along here. So Roger's looking at Patty right about that direction. But he can't go that way because of the creek bed. This is basically the only way you can go smoothly. We do need to consider that at the time, that ridge you see right there, it's about seven feet higher than where we're standing. That was the ground elevation right here. So all of this has washed away down to this level. So Roger's foot basically standing here, his foot probably right about here. The ground was at that level. This much has washed away since then. But he's moving along this path, but he's filming on a slight angle, which is kind of awkward. Occasionally swinging the camera off to the side while he's wobbling along. And Patty's basically in a line of sight somewhere right about here. We're going to double check that in a moment, see if we can get a fix on where she started, and we will have that also. All right, Bill, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Beautiful. Now I know it's, I know he's gone 25 feet. Now I want to measure, what was my time? Just over, well, measure time was just a hair under 17 seconds. Did that make sense? Yeah. 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 Ye